예, 예. 오케이. Okay. 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 It has that coffee shop vibe, making it sweet and cute. She sounded really good as usual. I can see myself listening to this while it's raining or while driving alone at night. It was beautiful, 8.2, This track opts for something brighter and quirkier. It's a pleasant synth-pop song, reserved in both its production and melodies. This sound suits Chu's voice well. It's a cute and fun song to listen to while driving around. I was expecting a bit more energy during the chorus, as it was a bit too chill for me. Still, it's a good song. The music video was adorable too, I enjoyed watching it. 8.2.10 The drums take center stage in the instrumentals, creating an interesting break in the album. This song feels like a fairy tale. I really enjoyed the layering and the playful synths. It almost has a lo-fi, chill vibe, which I found quite intriguing. It's also pretty catchy. While it might not make it to my playlist, I wouldn't skip it if it comes on shuffle. My favorite one so far, 8.3.10. We're diving into a groove with this one. It's a fun pop track with a great bounce to it. I loved it as soon as I heard it, it was catchy, and I couldn't help but move my head to the beat and melody. The chorus was fantastic. This is my favorite track. She absolutely nailed it, 8.4.10. I definitely enjoyed her debut album more. Don't get me wrong, this was a good album too, but her debut was just exceptional. I got obsessed with some of the songs from the debut right away, whereas with this one, I can listen to the songs occasionally, but that's about it. Still, it's a good album, so 8.2.10. Like I said, it was a pretty good album but it didn't catch my attention that much. This is the end of the video, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, also tell me your thoughts about the album in the comments. I will see you in the next one, much love.